At an interview ahead of this week's Air Force Association's Air, Space and Cyber Conference, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Will Roper said the Next Generation Air Dominance or NGAD program, which aims to deliver a new advanced fighter jet every five years, was advancing at a pace never before seen, reported Sputnik News. NGAD right now is designing, assembling, testing in the digital world, exploring things that would have cost time and money to wait for physical world results, Roper said, according to Military.com. NGAD has come so far that the full-scale flight demonstrator has already flown in the physical world. He later confirmed to Defense News, we've already built and flown a full-scale flight demonstrator in the real world, and we broke records in doing it. We are ready to go and build the next generation aircraft in a way that has never happened before. In June, the Pentagon finalized plans for a Digital Century Series program that would introduce a new aircraft every five years, each of which would fit into a larger family of systems. The idea is derived from a slew of fighter jets adopted by the Air Force in the 1950s and 1960s beginning with the F-100 Super Sabre, that was called the Century Series. None was ever elevated to being the Air Force's sole or primary interceptor or attack aircraft, but each worked with several other aircraft with varying roles in the same skies. Each of the Century Series jets pioneered one or two new technologies, which is one reason they were developed so quickly. The F-100 Super Sabre, for example, was the Air Force's first fighter capable of breaking the sound barrier in level flight and took just 2.5 years to develop. By comparison, the Lockheed Martin X-35 tester took seven years to proceed from idea to flying aircraft, including a slew of new and improved technologies. It then took another five years to become the F-35A, then another 10 years before it actually entered U.S. Air Force service in 2016. Few details were shared about the jet, which is part of the Next Generation Air Dominance or NGAD program, the Air Force's effort to develop a family of connected air warfare systems. This group of systems won't be just piloted aircraft, but will include unmanned drones and other platforms that could operate in the air, space and even in cyberspace. Roper didn't disclose how many prototype aircraft have flown or even which defense contractors were involved in their its manufacture. Nor did he disclose when or where the mystery flight even occurred. No details on whether it was crewed, optionally crewed or even unmanned, or whether it has stealth capabilities. We're going after the most complicated systems that have ever been built, and checked all the boxes with this digital technology. In fact, We've not just checked the boxes, we've demonstrated something that's truly magical," he added. It's unclear if the demonstrator mentioned by Roper is just a concept aircraft or actually intended to be the first of the Digital Century Series jets, the drive pointed out, noting a new US fighter prototype hasn't debuted in 20 years, since the Boeing X-32 and Lockheed Martin X-35 flew in 2000. The NGAD program was first initiated in 2017, but it has largely been conceptual. It was only in June that Air Force officials even said they were prototyping the technology. Work has included modeling and efforts to explore crucial hardware and software technologies. The current prototype may thus be a technology demonstration that could be used for risk reduction efforts or to prove major concepts, the Drive.com suggested.
According to service budget documents, the NGAD's key attributes include enhancements in survivability, lethality and persistence across a range of military operations. The Air Force's fiscal year 2021 budget request called for about $1 billion in funding, task and purpose reported. That was up from $905 million in 2020 and $413 million in 2019. The program is expected to cost an additional $6.5 billion through 2025. From national interest source, as the Air Force moves forward with the NGAD it could be another challenger to the F-35 and F-15X programs, especially as this comes after the US Navy has already sought to acquire a sixth-generation warplane to follow the F-35C. The Navy effort, tentatively called the F-AXX, has also been largely cloaked in mystery, though it would replace their F-A-18E F Super Hornets. Given those ongoing issues with the $1.5 trillion F-35 perhaps the Air Force and Navy are wise to be exploring other options. The announcement of any new combat aircraft is an unusual event and the secrecy surrounding the NGAD initiative makes this latest disclosure all the more fascinating. While we can only hope that more details emerge soon, the track record of the NGAD program suggests we probably shouldn't hold our breath.